Families from all over Alachua County came to the Morningside Cane, Boyle, and Fiddle Fest Saturday to take a step back in time. Farm manager Bricky Way explains how the festival began years ago. It started out just kind of small because uh, the people who operated here at the time, this is my understanding, um, they wanted to incorporate making sugar cane syrup into things. So they just started doing it as, as part of our uh, Living History Saturdays. Um, and back then, every Saturday, we did a Living History where people would get dressed up. And so they just started making sugar cane syrup, and it became popular with people. So they decided, you know, to build it into an event. So we attract, um, you know, 1,000, 1,200 people to the event over the course of the day and, we, and it's grown to include a bunch of um, old-time music. The festival sells cane syrup and shortened down cane stock which tastes like a natural lollipop. The historic farm grows sample sugar cane, strips some of their leaves, and puts them in an outdoor grinder. Nicole Barberi explains more. And then after it's ground up and put into a juice, the juice ends up going into a big kettle that's over on the other side and it gets boiled down and made into cane syrup. The festival is put on by the city of Gainesville every year, the Saturday after Thanksgiving. Linda Dimitropoulos, the city's nature operations manager, explains why. It's really very educational. I mean, it takes people back to a time, a much simpler time, the 1870s, when this is how people would live. We used to charge admission, we uh -huh. don't anymore, so just if people want to make donations. Our Friends of Nature Parks is our friends group and they really, really help put on this event. They get all the musicians and they do other good things for our nature park. So these donations that are accepted today go directly back into this event.